decades ago, a Milwaukee man was tied up and killed on the northwest side. Suzanne Spencer with more on the way the 30-year-old man was found and why detectives believe someone is at fault. Hello, Stevie. This is Phil. Apparently, you're on your way. Okay, bye-bye. Inside a home on Milwaukee's northwest side. Stevie, this is Phil again. Uh, where are you? Please give the store a call. Friends and co-workers were desperately trying to get a hold of Stephen Traindle. I mean, they've been haunted by this. I can't imagine any parent finding their child in that position. In 1988, the gay scene was alive in Milwaukee's Walker's Point. You always had to be more careful about your surroundings and who you were around and where you went. And that's why gay bars were so popular in the day, because it was always a safe haven. A haven this LGBT historian and activist remembers well. There was always the danger of, are there people outside who want to harm you? Because people did target gay bars. 30-year-old Stephen Trandall lived that social scene. Stephen was known to wear a lot of jewelry because he, uh, he was a flashy dresser, according to the people that knew him best. A social butterfly, a strong work ethic, a doorman at what was then Your Place Tavern on First, a floral shop, and a hardware store. But on October 5th, 1988, he never made it to his shift at Ace Hardware. I suppose you probably already know that Bill is waiting all over to be able to come here and all that good stuff. Stephen received several messages on his answering machine that day, and soon investigators learned why he never got them. He was found laying on his stomach uh, in the living room on a bed sheet. Uh, he was uh, nude from the waist down and tied with a phone cord from his ankles to, to uh, his hands to his neck. Stabbed in the head, the neck, the chest. You're looking where the knife is going and you're looking that person in the face. Very personal, very violent, intimate act. An act investigators theorized may have been fueled by his sexuality. There were a lot of very closeted people who might want to engage in a, in a gay sexual activity, but then might be afraid that someone would find out. If you have a certain warped mind, you might say the best way to protect myself is to make sure this person can never talk about what we did. So they may resort to murder. A murder that made the headlines of Instep an LGBT publication. At least the fact that there was an article in Instep on this particular murder meant that it would raise our awareness. Awareness about the horror, that unfolded. Investigators found a broken garage behind Trandall's home. His car was gone. Two days later, and 300 miles away in rural Indiana, police discovered the car stuck in mud. The car was in a state where it wasn't just like a car parked on the street. It was intentionally put in a location and was intentionally tampered with to prevent evidence from being recovered from it. Neighbors reported footsteps from midnight to 4 a.m. the night before. Usually burglars are, are quickly in, quickly out. And in this case, whoever was up there with him stayed for quite a while. So we have a, a belief that this person knew Stephen. Someone he knew, or maybe someone he didn't. I can't imagine the fear that he must have went through. It's a thought that haunts extended family members Jennifer Partika and her father. The fact that somebody is capable of doing something like this mm -hmm is amongst us and we don't know who they are or if they're capable of doing something like this again is scary. A man who was so loved, whose love was muted. That's why Partika hasn't stopped calling police to make sure something is done. Oh, I can't let this go. It's not fair. It's not fair to Steve and he's not here to fight for himself. He can't. Part of what took his life could also be exactly what solves his murder. With photojournalist Eric Litzon, Suzanne Spencer, Fox 6 News. Investigators say that car has been a crucial piece of evidence. They are resending items from it to the state's crime lab to try and turn up any potential leads. If you know anything about this case, we have a link to the cold case unit at fox6now.com.